Hello everyone, so I know it's been a while since I've posted, but I've had a few personal reasons for why I haven't been posting, plus I got a new job and school is starting soon, so I've been busy with those things. But good news, I'm back and I plan on posting more often, hopefully. But yeah, I just wanted to upload a video to let all of you know that I am still here. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna be adding some more fillers and I have decided to collect three more groups. That's what today a video entails so yeah let's get started okay so for bts i do have some fillers to add i did add initial fillers for the japanese release that they recently had but there have been some special photo cards that i totally forgot to add so let's go there so these are going to be for the regular version and then Luckily for me, Big Hit decided to add more versions. So let's add those in. So let me put a new sleeve in. And then, and then here I have the different versions. So we have this one, this one, this one, and this one. This is the regular version right here. And then this is like a more postcard size and I'm not collecting that nor the the changing jacket. Um, but yeah, just these four that I'll be adding. I kind of like this theme better than this one. So I'll put this first. So yeah, I have this where I keep the supplies that I use to make my fillers. Um, so I use those and this sticky note. All right, All right. So I turned it here so I can write these sticky notes um so for hobie it's just going to be the same versions anyways i do have his photo as well but it's literally just the same thing so i'm just going to use yungi's for reference <laughs> yeah <laughs> let's get started making fillers this is so weird making a video it's been a while um okay so yungi and so recently like two days ago now because in the u.s it came out a day before anyways um dynamite came out and oh my gosh it's literally like the cutest song ever i know everyone says it's like boy with love part two it kind of is but it's a very different sound to me but the vibe of the music video and everything does feel like boy with love and i'm so happy that um bts were able to release it during this time because i think it's really special because everything going on so yeah it was the perfect time to release something like that it was weird getting used to like all english because like bts have had like english songs but it was mixed with korean so it was interesting i would rate it a 9 out of 10 because i am so petty 0.5 for the autotune i never like a lot of autotune in songs so yeah of course like all artists use autotune anyways but like the obvious obvious autotune i don't even think that's the right term but that's what i call it and then another 0.5 because i feel like the hyung line didn't have a lot of parts so i do feel like they base it off of who can speak english the best i guess because for the rap line Namjoon had the most unique verse and then in the vocal line Jungkook had the most unique lines followed closely by Taeyong So yeah, I feel like that's how they determined the line distribution But still I feel like I feel really sad even in the music video because like everyone is like so hype about Hobie because of his look Oh my gosh, but then he didn't really have much screen time. So that was pretty sad but overall, I really loved the song. And I loved all the references to Michael Jackson and the disco era, it was pretty cool. I just love how BTS always reinvent themselves. Like they have like such a diverse discography. <laughs> I can't say that. That's why I really, really love their music. And plus it's really good. So yeah, Let's see fan club version next. I will say, oh wait, shoot. Pretend that didn't happen, okay. Mm, what else about dynamite b cook like really really stole my heart during the whole thing they were so cute especially like the part where jimin jumps on jungkook's back it was so cute <laughs> like the little smile jimin gave him when he like came on frame that was so cute and then just general like jungkook and 
Uh, Jimin looks so good. Jimin seemed like so happy and carefree and like his dancing. And then for soap, of course, they were amazing despite, oh, I just realized I put Yoongi on the bottom. Uh, despite uh, the limited amount of screen time they had, they were so adorable. Like, they look so good. Like, Hobie with that comb over and then the sunglasses on the back of his head. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, wait, I literally just put them back again. What am I doing? Okay. Um, but yeah, so amazing. And then I feel like Namjoon had redemption with that mint toothpastey blue color because they did it in the fire era and I just absolutely hated the bangs that they gave him. But in Dynamite, he did have like a more nicer like haircut. So yeah, redemption for that color. And then Jin, of course, looks so cute when he was in the center. I'm always happy when Sukjin gets a center position because it's really improved on his dancing and I love when they like showcase like Hey, I can dance, hello. And then of course Taeyang looks so good in that green with that haircut and just the overall vibe of Taeyang is just so breathtaking. The end scene where he just, where it zooms in and he smirks, so good. What else can I say? <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like I just loved it so much. I don't know. Is it bad that I like want a Korean version as well? I feel like it would sound really good in Korean as well. And I feel like they can add more like lyrically to it as well if they did it in Korean. I think on the cassette and the vinyl, it's like there was like another version of it. So I don't know, maybe it's the Korean version, but either way, I thought they did really great with their English pronunciation, of course. Let's see the universal benefit. I'm just always proud of them. I just felt like they had like the greatest time filming that. You can like tell with those like little freestyle dance moments were so cute. You can like see them like laughing at each other in the background when someone had like a, a part. It was so cute. Okay, universal benefit version. Man, I don't know what else I could say. <laughs> I feel like I covered everything. Um, all I know is I've been just listening to it on repeat. I bought it on iTunes because I was not able to get the vinyl or the cassette tape. I was waiting to buy it, but like it sold out in a few hours, of course. So yeah, that was great. So yeah, I didn't get my hands on that. And then I think they're selling it on the global shop, but I'm pretty sure that sold out as well. So we'll see if I ever get the... Um, I wanted to buy the cassette tape because it was so cute. So who knows if I'll ever get it. And then last but not least, we have the Weverse benefit. Wow, I just have like the best handwriting ever. Um. There we go. And then that should be it. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just gonna let these dry off and then come back. I'm not one who likes to put it immediately into my sleeves. I don't know. I just have this like anxious feeling like, oh, it'll bleed onto the nine pocket sleeve. I don't know. I'm weird. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. So let's put these in their rightful places. All right. Oh, and I also forgot about dynamite. I forgot to mention the way Hobie looked in that red shirt. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's so random, but I had to say it because I feel like editor Sarah would have added it. So instead of that, hello, I'm saying it now. Oh, okay. All right, last but not least. There we go. So I'm going to be getting these cards soon. So yeah, I've already bought plenty cards on Mercari Japan through Bai. So expect a haul from that when everything arrives at the warehouse and I ship it to myself. So yeah, let's move on to, oops, sorry. Let's move on to my other groups. And if you haven't noticed, my cover has changed. I only decided to add people that I am currently collecting. So if you can see new faces, those are the groups that I'm adding today. So yeah, let's do that first. So 
So here we go. So we have twice. And then if you notice, Astro moved up in the binder. I might as well consider Astro an alt and twice as an alt because at this point, I don't know. They're really, really high up my list, so yeah. But I only consider BTS as my ult. I don't know. It's just, I might as well at this point consider both Astro and Twice as ults. Anyways, moving on, let's add a group. After 17, this is where the group will go. Let's add the nine pocket sleeve right there so the first group that i'm adding is red velvet <laughs> yay i'm so happy that i'm adding a girl group to my binder because i am doing girl groups so dirty but red velvet has always been on my radar and honestly i've been watching i don't know if you know him but i'm pretty sure everyone does uh chaebon and he's like fully convinced me to collect red velvet because like i've always loved red velvet but he really pushed me to go and collect them. So yeah, the first group is Red Velvet. So first, let me cut these out like so. And then I'm going to add these colored papers like so. And then I'm going to put them in. Oh, that got bent. Oh no. Ah, okay. There we go. So if you know anything about my transition pages, you know that I pick my two favorite eras, whether it's my two favorite songs, my two favorite concepts. But for Red Velvet, um, I chose Red Flavor and Peekaboo. And I don't know why I keep saying Red Velvet. Like I literally haven't said like who I'm collecting because I'm only collecting one member. Um, <laughs> I'm collecting Irene from Red Velvet, and I've heard she is a very popular member uh, to collect, so that will be fun. <laughs> um, <laughs> so let's see how soon I can finish her collection. Obviously, I haven't even like finished the groups that I'm already collecting, because for my other groups, I want to gradually collect them. I don't want to like rush into it, but yeah, that is this transition page for red velvet and i won't make any fillers because like i said i want to save room and i'll just put it on like one clear sheet as i collect the cards but yeah um let's see all right and then for the next group i am collecting bap bap used to be in my top three but as i gradually got into more groups they fell down more mostly because they gradually stopped releasing a lot of things and of course because TS Entertainment is like the worst company ever we'll never forgive them for what they've done to VAP but um yeah they still are a vital group to me so I decided that I wanted to collect Young J and Jung Up so yeah let me first cut this out like so and then I'm gonna add the colored paper like so and then I'm going to put them in so the two eras for BAP that I chose were Feel So Good and Skydive, but most of the photos come more from the album than the actual like music video. Same with my Red Velvet one. There was a lot of photos from the album, and then I took photos from teasers, anything that I could really find that I thought would look good. So yeah. And then the last one here. All right, awesome. And then so this one is for BAP. And then last but not least, the last group that I am adding is ITZY. So yay, another girl group. <laughs> ITZY have, I've talked about ITZY in my videos before. I don't know, they've just amazed me so far. So I couldn't help but stand. So yeah, for ITZY, I am collecting Yuna who is my bias. So yeah, let's get to cutting these out like so. And then I'm going to tape on the colored paper like so. And then I'm going to add them. So I decided to choose the, hello. <laughs> I decided to choose the two eras, Icy and Wannabe. I think Icy will forever be my favorite comeback of 
Itsy. I just love it so much. And it's, of course, Yuna's era to me anyways, and to a lot of people. So yeah, definitely Icy. And then here is Wannabe, which also is a really, really awesome song. It was kind of like a new type of style for them in terms of the song. So I really enjoyed that part. So yeah, that is my Itsy transition page. Here is my BAP one. And then here is, oops, I went to, oh wait, no. Here is the red velvet one. <laughs> All right. So that is those transition pages. I'm iffy on the photos that I chose, but for now, those would have to do. But yep, that is today's video. I hope it was somewhat entertaining. I know it's not like a reorganizing or unboxing or collective haul video, but I just wanted to put up something so you know that I'm still here. Hello, stay tuned. I will be having more videos. Oops, sorry, <laughs> more videos. Thank you so much for watching if you did, and I will see you on my next video. Bye.